60 Minutes Overtime. All the research shows that men earn much more in tips than women. Really, people tip men more money than they tip women? Absolutely. Tipping, unfortunately, oh. reflects all the bias that we as Americans have. Saru Jayaraman directs the Food Labor Research Center at Berkeley and is a longtime activist on behalf of restaurant workers. You're talking about all strata of the restaurants. If there are men and women serving, people think in their mind they're going to pay the woman less. Women earn less in tips, period. Um, and for a woman, research shows tipping is pretty dependent on her willingness to touch or be touched. Is there sexual harassment? Is it endemic uh, in this business? Do waitresses just have a lot of it? 90% of restaurant workers report experiencing sexual behavior that is scary or unwanted. It is 90%. 90%. It's the industry with the highest rates of harassment of any industry. It's the industry that's the single largest source of sexual harassment complaints to the EEOC. Well, you know, you can see that if you're, if you're wanting to get a tip, and a guy reaches out, you're probably not going to slap his hand. You have no choice. You're living completely off your tips. You have to put up with whatever the customer does to you. And even worse, we find that in these states with a lower wage for tipped workers, managers tell you, dress more sexy, show more cleavage, wear tighter clothing in order to make more money in tips. I did, like every woman in this room, deal with incredible amounts of harassment from customers and coworkers and it was a very routine way of life. Actress Amy Poehler has added her experience as a waitress, her own Me Too moment, to Saru Jayaraman's efforts on behalf of restaurant workers. Sitting next to Amy is Saru Jayaraman. Give it up for Saru, everyone. Poehler invited her to the Golden Globes, using her star power to highlight the plight of women working for tips. I am someone who has uh, lived in New York City for 22 years, and I, I've worked as a server for tips for many of those years, and I stand with the workers uh, for one fair wage. Tipped workers can be paid far less than minimum wage, as little as $2.13 an hour. It's rightly called a sub-minimum wage. You've got a majority female workforce, 70% of tipped workers earning that $2 wage are women. You've got a majority male workforce earning a much higher wage in the kitchen. In a way, it's, it's almost legalizing, right? That's Gender right. Gender disparity. That's right. Who determines how small that minimum wage is for the tipped workers? Where does that come from? It comes from extreme lobbying by the National Restaurant Association, which is all the chains who've gotten together and they have a trade lobby. They've lobbied state legislatures and Congress to keep the federal minimum wage for tipped workers at $2.13 an hour. It's gone up $2 over an 80-year period for a mostly female workforce. Jaya Rahman helped New York restaurateur Danny Meyer come up with his policy of eliminating tipping entirely, building the cost of service into the bill and into every employee's pay. But she says the real answer is eliminating the subminimum wage entirely. The solution is so concrete and tangible. Pay these women an actual wage, just like the kitchen staff, just like every other industry. Let tips be on top of that, as they always were intended to be. And let them actually not have to put up with anything and everything from a customer.